Good evening or good morning, good afternoon, whatever it might be for you this fine day. We are going to be doing a session. Uh, there's no music playing, so if you do want to put some of your own tunes on, feel free to hit the button, press play, put whatever it is that you want on. Uh, high energy, low energy, a bit of rock and roll or a bit of chill, I don't mind, it's completely up to you. But what you do need, if you can, is either a pole, so I've just got a broom handle, or if you don't have a broom handle, a strap, like a yoga strap, or um, a belt, a scarf will work as well. So that's all you really need. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be working using the pole or the belt. Um, we're going to be working on core, we're going to be working on balance, we're going to be working on stabilisation, we're going to be working through your back as well. Okay, I'm going to introduce you to my witty workout as well. Uh, <laughs> sounds nothing to do with Chris Witty or anything like that, but it's, it's a rehab programme that I'm using at the moment that... Um, just helps my back okay and I thought you know what it'd be good for some of the people that do this as well so I thought I'd share it with you as well um, it's much tougher than it looks and much tougher than it sounds Mr H did it with me the other day and he was like oh my gosh so yeah all right so let's begin if you've got your pole or your strap whatever it is just shove it to the side get yourself into a comfortable position Press play on your music, and we're going to come into a child's pose. So come down, trying to take your heels as close to your bum as you can, okay? And then bring your head down as well. So you've got this really nice rounding through the back. Good. Just let your body sink here for a moment. If you find that you struggle to breathe in that pose, take the knees a little bit wider. It gives you that space for chest and abdomen to come down, especially if you can come quite low or you're a little bit bigger. That's good. And then when you're ready, come up on to your all fours, tabletop, wrists underneath shoulders, a little tailbone bone tilt to start with just to feel length through the spine. Shoulder blades, I want you to slide them down your back. And then cat and cow. So let's just roll through the cat and cow movement. As we do it, we lift that tailbone, slide the shoulder blades together and down and lift the chin. And then we scoop through the belly, tailbone pulls under, roll through that back. That feels so nice. And then release, go the other way. Good job, good job. And again. Nice and slowly at the moment, we're just waking up the back. Maybe you've been sat at the desk all day, maybe you've just got up. Let's just bring a little bit of movement. Okay, now come into neutral. Long through the back, scoop the belly button up, wiggle the hips left and right. Just a wiggle left and right, side to side, wiggle, wiggle. Nice and slow. The shoulders, you'll notice they're staying still. It's just your tailbone is wiggling and waggling. Getting some side relaxation down deep into that lower spine. Okay, come to centre. Tailbone tilts round through the spine. And now lengthen, lengthen, lengthen into neutral. Shoulder blades down, long through the neck. Turn the toes up for me. Well, don't turn them over. And then we're going to gently start to press back and forwards. Pushing your weight back and forwards, starting to get some stretch over the top of those knees. So working through that patella tendon, really lengthening it. If you are tight in your quads, you might not go very far, okay? That's not necessarily a knee problem, that might just be a quad tightness because your quads link up to that patella tendon that goes over the top of the kneecap, okay? So if that's the case, release the toes, 
yeah it just takes off the tension in the tibia so you've got a couple of options just there now when you're ready bring your body down onto the mat nice and slowly shoulder blades come back chest lifts just a little bit into that beautiful baby cobra pose shoulders are sliding down the back good stuff good stuff now push back push back come into child's pose and then when you're ready bring yourself up onto your knees excellent so what tunes are people playing if you've put your own music on let me know at some point what is it your choice of tune okay so let's sit now into those heels just let your body sit down again if you're tight in these quads you're gonna feel that over the top of the knee so what can you do well you can sit on a cushion so place a cushion between the thigh the back of the thigh and your calf so that you're taking that pressure away and then gradually over time work on improving that uh, that stretch through your quads okay good now staying here if this is comfortable but if it isn't sit however you want lift the arms up and let them come down and lift them up and let them come down doing it to the time of the music if that's what you're listening to okay and if you're not listening to music and you're just enjoying the free flow of movement then just chill listen to my voice let your body move and feel good whilst you do it okay bring those arms up reach tall with those fingertips one hand comes to the floor we lean over and we push the fingertips away push those fingertips away getting a nice long stretch through the side of the body we come to center all the way over and reach so these fingertips are lengthening away from the body and we're feeling this gorgeous wonderful stretch all the way down all the way down to the top of this hip beautiful nice and sit yourself up again choice of sitting position on the knees or if they don't feel right move change we're going to free flow movement side to side side to side just let the body move the advantages of staying sat on those knees is that your hips are going to stay forward so it's going to be really tricky to get them wiggling side to side with you which means that you're going to be really focused and where you get that rotation in the spine but if those hips are up and they you see how they move a little bit more okay that's fine so you can freely move those hips as well feeling that twistiness all the way down into the lower back or you can be really mindful to keep these hips steady and still as you come around good stuff okay shall we crack on with those poles huh yeah good bring yourself down into a seated position for me you want to be sat with your knees about hip width apart your ankles about hip width apart and just take a moment okay just take a moment with me to check your space check in front and around check around the back check that you are not going to bash anything with your pole okay i don't want you to accidentally bash into a door or a wall or knock a tv or anything like that so make sure that you have space good if i'm going to just say pole by the way but if you've got a strap or whatever then that's completely fine and just keep it nice and taut in the middle so pull it taut so tuck the elbows in place your hands on top of your pole take an overhand grip extend out now lengthen through the spine bracing your belly button in lengthening take a wiggle and a shimmy of your bum 
have a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle of your butt and feel those sit bones. You want to feel them into the floor. If you can't, take a moment to grab a bum cheek, pull it back. Do the same on the other. It gives you a little posterior tilt in that pelvis and oh yeah, they're there. Okay, so you push that pole out in front of you. It is beyond the knees. We're going to take the pole straight armed back and forth from position, start position to over the knees. Come back and up, back and up, good. Now brace your belly for me, so really give a good squeeze in to the core. Squeeze it in. We have got a few more of these. We're gonna go for four and three, just to the knee, and two. Last one, come back, forwards. Let the hands rest roll through the shoulders. This is a super important point. Just pause. Think about these muscles here, these neck muscles. If you've just come from work or you've been at a desk all day, there's a very good chance this movement ended up up here, here. Rosemary, pull them down. Come on, Terry, relax, let it go. Yes, Sarah, let it go. Let it go, as Elsa would say. So, <laughs> we're coming back to that same movement. Shoulder blades slide down the back. Here we go, to the knee and forwards, to the knee. Beautiful, you've got it. Good job, good job, good job. Now then, let's go for four more. Here we go, four and three, two. This time hold back, come Hold, we're above these knees. Hold it here, this bar comes to your belly. The rest of you, stay still. Are we ready? Pull it in, push it out. Pull and push, pull. As you're pushing, just quickly notice, does the bar still stay over those knees? Yes, it does, that's fabulous. Let's go for four and three, two, and keep your body where it is, push the arms out. Combination, push to the knees, elbows in. Are we ready? Push to the knees, elbows in, take it out. Let's do it again. Push, knees, elbows, good. Push, knees, elbows, uh-huh. Here we go, we've got it. Four distinct parts, push for one, knees for two, Elbows three, start again. One and two, three and four. That's it. Now you're going to start to feel a little burning sensation. A little bit of an ooh, a little bit of an ah. Where's it going to feel? Kind of everywhere. Kind of everywhere. The shoulders maybe. The arms. <laughs> the arms, the arms, the arms. The belly. The legs, the hip flexors, it's all going to start to burn. Maybe it already is. Okay, we've got two more. Good stuff. Let's do last one. In and out and shake it all about. Relax. Ooh. Wiggle, wiggle, jiggle, jiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Shake it all out. How did you find that? Did you find that okay? Hopefully you did. Mm. I like that because you have to be really controlled and it's nice. Okay, so you're feeling it in these arms. You should be probably feeling it in the shoulders, maybe down the forearms, maybe even a little bit of the pecs. If you're using the band or the strap or whatever, you're probably gonna feel it in the pecs. All normal, all good. If that sensation's coming up here, up behind those ears, there's a good chance that you're really tight in them upper traps and your shoulders are up here. So if that's the case, take a deep breath. <sighs> let them go and let them drop. Boom, let them drop. Okay, are we ready? Same starting position. Sit tall, wiggle bum. Find them sit bones, mm-hmm. They're there. Extend, lean back so the bar is over those knees. We tilt. We center, we tilt. The body pretty much stays the same. What you want to feel is keep going, a little stretch from the hip to the underarm as you bring that body up 
and over, okay, up and over. You're still going up and over, lengthen. This is just the start, lengthen, lengthen. Ooh. So as you're doing it, I want you to imagine that someone's got hold of you. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hold of your shoulder girdle as you take that bar up. Someone's pushing that shoulder blade, that shoulder and that arm is pushing over. So as you go, oh, you're pulling all of this area up and away to give that openness, to give that stretch, to get the muscles, the side of the waist, they're working, okay? It feels nice. I like it. That's good. Beautiful. We're going to do a few more because we've been here for a while, yeah? We're not done yet, but we've been here for a while. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Take a rest. Roll through those shoulders. Give them a wiggle and then just have a little look over in this direction. Same exercise, we're gonna combine it with a side turn, okay? So we start, arms out, we come to those knees. This is the start, yeah? We twist and we turn. We come to center and we're back at the beginning. Let me do that again for you, I'll come face on. So you sit up, lean back, V-sit, bar over the knees. You twist the whole body first. Okay, then you twist here, lengthening. How does that sound? Does it sound pretty darn good? It feels great. I like it. So should we have a go? <laughs> Why not? Here we go. Lean back, twist, rotate, good. Other side, up. Whew. Bum, ba, dum, bum, ba, dum. I won't sing though, because if you've got your own music, which I know a lot of you like to do, oh, um, you don't want my dodgy beat, because it's never in time anyway, is it? Oh, <laughs> that's it, good. Whew. Who is feeling warm? I'm feeling warm. The abs are working. The arms and the shoulders, they are working. The muscles of the back. Well, there's a working. Boom. Oh, just my, my watch just told me we've done 100 calories. That's not bad, is it? Goodness gracious. That can't be right. No way. That can't be right. I'm going to have a look at that in a second. That's wrong. Good job. Okay, we've got a couple more. Let's go. You want to know whether we got those 100 calories or not. I know we didn't. Ugh. Let's come back. Last one. And relax. Well done. Let's have a little checky of that, shall we? It definitely cannot be 100 calories unless we've just been in a time warp. Oh, crikey. Wow. It was 100 beats per minute. That was my heart rate. Oh, I've lost it just telling me we've hit 20 minutes. Time really has gone quick because we've actually done, according to my watch, 143 calories. Holy moly, isn't that awesome? <laughs> All right, now then, get yourselves up onto your mats. Take your pole, pop it in the center of your mat, okay? If you've got a strap, lie it through the center. That's all you need to do, okay? Right, now, first of all, just have a little stretch of your body. So we'll start in the hands, so just keep your wrists down, moving back and forth. So we've done a little bit of this already in some of our warm-up movements, okay? So we're just opening and closing the wrists. Now, up you come, turn the fingers out a little bit, do the same, back and forth, back and forth. And then when you feel happy there, bring them around a little bit more. And again, your range of movement may be slightly less. But you're getting a nice stretch through the forearm. Okay, good. Come up, give them a wiggle, give them a jiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, jiggle, jiggle, round and round. 
loosen up through them shoulders. Yeah, good, okay. So you've got a pole in the center of your mat. You are coming into tabletop, turn the toes under. We're coming first of all into knee hover. So join me now, shoulder blades, pin them in, slide them down, brace the belly, knee hover. Okay, we're in a knee hover. We're gonna change our base of support. Right now we've got four points. One foot, tap it over, bring it back. The other foot, tap it over, bring it back. One hand and back, one hand and back and down. Did you get that? Did you join me? <laughs> so we're changing our points, our centre of gravity by going from four limbs to three limbs. Hopefully our backs are staying pretty darn stable. Do you think they were? Should we do it again? Shoulders, pin them in, slide them down. Belly button tucks up, turn the toes and we come to hover. One knee goes over. Bring it back, other knee, bring it back. One hand, bring it back. One hand, bring it back, come down. Good job, good job. Feels good, yeah? Let me come around this way so I can see you. Put my pole there. It feels good, doesn't it? Should we try it again? We're gonna double it up this time. So each time we do a double tap, one, one. One, 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 one. You know, you got it. Set up, elbows, uh, shoulder blades in, roll them down, pin them back, turn the toes. Let's go, double tap. Tap and tap, other side. Tap and tap, other side. Tap and tap, tap and tap. Who come down. Slippery carpet, not a good idea. <laughs> Part way through, I so totally thought that you were going to see me face plant the floor. I really did. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to move the hands or the mat so I can put the hands there. We're going to go for it again. Two taps. Are we ready? Set up, brace the belly, lengthen through the core. Let's go, starting in the feet. One and two. One and two to the hands. One, two, one and two and down. Good effort. One more time. Much better. Hands not on the slippery carpet. <laughs> okay, so this time we're gonna do single time. Tap, 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 tap. But we're gonna do four sets all in one go. Tap, 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 tap. One two, three, four, pull the shoulder blades down, brace the belly, the second you start to lose form, back arches, belly drops, you start to be a bit dodgy and unsecure, I want you to stop and rest. If you can, you're gonna hit the four, if not, you're just gonna rest, all is good. Let's set up, brace belly, long through the spine, hover, let's go, one, 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 and one, that's one set, do it again. Set two, do it again. Set three, and again, last time. Come on down, woo, nice, good job. How do you feel? Feel good? Feel good? Okay, pole can come to the side of you strap whatever it is you've got let me just adjust my uh, mat so you know I said we're gonna do witty we're gonna finish with witty witty is tough witty is gonna work the gap this part here of your back so here here it's also gonna work a lot of other places but that's the primary focus okay your arms, you need some space in front of your arms, enough to do this. Okay, so if you need to adjust, please do. I'm gonna stand up just to show you your arm position. Are you ready for this? You're gonna be lying flat on the floor. You're gonna pull the belly button in, tilt your pelvis, just a teeny weeny bit, enough to start feeling pressure through the pubic bone into the floor. The hands are gonna be in a W position like this. The what? For witty. 
okay? You'll be here, your lift off, forearms are gonna stay on the floor. Once you've lifted the chest off, so if this is your position on the floor, watch, the, watch, watch, watch. Floor here, lift chest, it doesn't come off very far, okay? You're lifting the chest off the floor a tiny little bit. Once off, you lift the arms, one, two, three. Noticing the chest is not moving, so it's not this movement, so it's not a back extension, the movement comes through the arms, because it's those rhomboids, it's those low lats, it's those muscles right between your shoulder blades that we are working, okay? This is superb for anyone with shoulder problems, if you have rounding through the back, if you need to build the strength there, this is what you want to do, okay? So we're in the W position. Wa. Then we go up. I. <laughs> I'm spelling witty, remember? T. Come down. Your thumbs are going to point up to the sky. T. And then ya. Y M C A. Ba da ba da ba. So those are your four positions. W. I. T. Y chest is not coming up and down it is the arms that are moving only shall we go for it we're going to go for 10 reps on each one let's take a moment together to set up come down pop the hands down by the side of you for your w position push your pubic bone into the floor pull your belly button up now at the moment, your nose is literally touching your mat. What I want you to do is just pull your nose up and the top part of your chest up. Enough that you could probably do a thumbs up and touch your nose. If you do a thumbs up and you can't touch your nose, bring your body down a little bit more, okay? So thumbs up, touch your nose. That's as high as you're lifting. You're gonna feel the sternum, the base of your chest plate touching the floor so we're in our start position are we ready for the w we lift the arms only the whole body stays static let's go for one two three four five six shoulder blades down eight nine ten well done arms come directly in front of you keep your chest and your body the same place remember Thumbs up position is the height, bracing that belly, we lift the arms, chest and back stay still, one, two, three, four, five, push the pubic bone down, eight, nine, ten, excellent, come out wide for your T position, thumbs point up to the sky, now here, your shoulder blades may have lifted, so slide them right the way down the back, Chest hasn't moved, it's the arms that are gonna do the work. Let's lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Come to your Y position. Shoulder blades, pull them down your back. Really pull them down here. Chest stay still, arms move only. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Pubic bone down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands together, rest. I think that England may have just scored. <laughs> Come into child's pose. <laughs> I think England have just scored. I don't think you heard that. Maybe there was like a chorus around my street of sound. So well done, England. Whoop, whoop. If they did score anyway, <laughs> either that or something bad's happened in the <laughs> football. All right, how did that feel? Oh my goodness, you're feeling, let me get my, my handy stick. Okay, hopefully you're feeling that like here, yeah? Right between them shoulder blades, right there. Oh, that feels rather nice. That's where you're feeling that, okay? We're doing another round. I'm gonna give you a break because these are small teeny weeny muscles and rest periods are actually super duper important when we train. 
you think I talk a lot and I jabber, I'm actually just kind of like buying time as we're having our rest periods. But those four exercises, okay, I'll not bore you with it, I, but um, <laughs> I'm rehabbing in my shoulder. I needed some work. I was like, I need to hit the four, these fiber sh fibers, the positions of the fibers, these movements, do that. Okay, because it is the scapula, your shoulder blade, that we are moving. All right, it's just shoulder blade that's moving around. Your arms are doing the movement, but it is the movement of the shoulder blade. That's my shoulder blade. Do you like them? Okay, that is going to have is that it's doing the work. So if you found that the area I just pointed to with my stick, oh, hang on here okay if that area there didn't feel like it was doing anything then think about your posture okay pubic bone down belly button in suck it up shoulder blades pull them down pull them back okay should try it again we have got another set let's do it 10 repetitions the whole body stays still. The arms and shoulder blades are where the magic is happening. Come down to the floor. Pubic bone, turn it, belly button up. Hands into your double W position. Your nose is touching the mat. Lift the nose, pulling up, lifting the chest. You'll feel more pressure in the pubic bone as you do. Check in. Make a thumbs up sign. Can you just about touch your nose? Let's do this. Elbows down, shoulder blades. See, they want to roll forwards, yeah? We're going to pull them up, then we're going to pull them down. Instantly, you're feeling more work. Now, let's add the arms in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take it forwards. Shoulder blades, pull them down. This is the hardest one, I think. 10, 9, belly button in. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Into your T. Shoulder blades back and down. Lift. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Lovely jubbly. Into your Y. Shoulder blades back and down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my goodness. Into your child's pose. Coming into really wide knees to let you push your heels really far back into your ba uh, bottom. Into the bum and the heels together. Giving you that nice round back. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. Coming up. Where's my pole gone? Over there, let me grab that. Now then, I'm gonna stretch you out a little bit. If, however, you are combining this session with a hit session, this is the point you wanna head on over, pick one of the hit sessions out of your library. There's loads in there. This is superb to add to a four minute hit. So pick one of the four minute full body blasts, give yourself an all over workout. Or if you really wanna target the workout, go for one of the arms, okay? An arm blast, it'd be really nice. And then that is you done. Otherwise, stay with me just to finish off with a little bit of mobilization with your pole or with your strap. Here we go. Arms nice and wide to the end of your pole. Come up and down. You're going to feel those shoulder blades squeezing together. That's nice. That's nice. So I want you to start bringing these shoulders as far back as is comfortable. They might go a little bit, then they might go a little bit more. Don't go too far back that you end up like chick, 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 down the back. Okay. Only take the arms up and over as far as feels comfortable. 
So if that's just to the top of the head, that's where you are at. We're going to do a couple of repetitions, whatever level you're on. And then I want you to hold above the head and we come to the side, same side. Pulling down as the hand reaches towards the floor and that will lengthen under the armpit at the other side. It'll feel nice. Last one, over to the other side. Ooh, it feels good. It is nice, it feels, feels good. Feels good. That's it. Last one. Bring your bar now onto the back of your head. Not to the back of your head, Suzanne. What are you talking about? Back of your shoulders. Onto those knees. Twist. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Ah, oh, that feels nice. Nice few breaths as we go. Mm, that does feel good. Just loosening up through the body. Couple more. And then come to centre, take it back up. Come over, taking the body with you this time. Not so far that you're going to fall over. But just enough to give you a length through the side of the body. And then a little bit of work to ooh, pull yourself back up again. Good. One more each side. That's good. Come down, have a roll through your shoulders. Come on to the floor. We're gonna come into piriformis stretch. So we'll take a ankle on top of the thigh, staying here to feel it in the bottom, or bend the knee, let the, hip, uh, the knee and the hip drop out, or bring that foot and the bottom nice and close together. And just enjoy that stretch a little bit deeper. Just a few more seconds. Do like a good piriformis stretch. That's it. Now keep a note of which foot's on top. So for me, it's my right foot. I'm going to extend the left leg, push my right foot down to the floor, and then twist my body over to the right. Oh yeah. That feels so good. And release. Other side, that little stretch, ankle on top of the thigh, a little bit of a bend of the knee, bringing that heel towards your bottom, or the bottom towards the heel, whichever works for you, I suppose. Make sure it feels nice, feeling enough of a stretch that you're like, yeah, that's a stretch, that feels good. Not so much of a, oh my God, I can't breathe. If you get there, then it's a bit too much. <laughs> okay, so don't get to that point. You can work in and out of these as well to deepen and lengthen the stretches. Extend that bottom leg. That top foot comes over. We come around. I'm going over to the left because it's my left leg on top. Oh, that's a nice little twist. Don't you find when you've been sat at the desk for such a long time that like this oh, feels so nice? Good job. Come to centre. Let's finish off. We come into feet together, holding the feet if you want to, holding your thighs, wherever feels good. You're going to roll forwards, let the back really roll over. Nice deep breaths. Mm, that feels super good. Just let that back really release, let it go. If you want to stay there for a little bit longer, you're very welcome. Just to enjoy that stretch. If you want to go the opposite way once you've done that, nice cobra. Really, really good. But otherwise, that is you done. We have worked on strengthening and stabilizing of the core muscles, but we've also gone for some really intensive uh, isometric toning work in the upper body as well by using our bar whilst we were doing our core work as well. So hopefully you enjoyed that, you felt it, you'll feel it tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up. If you're doing this on catch up, which I suspect will be most people, 
Um, I hope you enjoyed the football, <laughs> if you watched it. <laughs> um, and I will catch up with you all again sometime soon. Thank you for joining me. See you later.